Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Becky, which will be available on digital and demand June 5th, 2020, courtesy of Quiver uh, Distribution and uh, Redbox Entertainment. Uh, it is the third feature directed by Jonathan Milot and Carrie Murnion, who previously directed the Elijah Wood led Cooties and the Dave Bautista star. Bushwick. Uh, I, I really believe they have kind of elevated themselves from a B gimmicky kind of um, narrative to something that's a little more complex. And even if it leaves you with a lot of nagging questions, it really does leave you wanting more. Uh, so Becky stars Lulu Wilson from Annabelle Creation and Sharp Objects as the titular character, uh, a moody uh, teenage girl who uh, it, it opens when she's being spoken to law enforcement and uh, what I would assume to be a social worker or someone of such ilk, questioning her about what happened to the men in the orange outside her cabin. And we back up to two weeks uh, in the past where we meet Kevin James uh, in a very odd bit of casting as a imprisoned a uh, neo-Nazi white supremacist who breaks out of prison with three other people, a la The Fugitive, um, and ends up accosting uh, Becky's family at their cabin and trying to find a key that opens some mysterious place or object that uh, has something to do with their uh, white supremacist plans. This is basically all, all we're given. Uh, Becky's father is played by Joel McHale. Uh, her mother died, hence her moody trauma uh, that we also keep getting flashbacks to of cancer. Uh, and he's about to marry uh, Kayla, played by Amanda Bruegel, and Kayla is uh, a black woman. Uh, so at first we believe that Becky's uh, anger at her father is just that he's found another woman, but as we come to find, that might not be the case. Uh, and we're given little clues here and there that Becky might be a psychopath. Uh, so it's, it's a film that once it ends, it, it had left me with a sense of um, unease because we don't really ex it doesn't really explain what happens to some of the people and I don't want to give it away here but uh, it, it definitely does make you think twice about what kind of person was I rooting for uh, and uh, make maybe make you feel feel question how you approach uh, protagonists um, the film is also very gory. There are lots of uh, moments that make you feel uh, quite uneasy uh, in ways that I think are also elevated uh, than from their past two features. Uh, I would describe this as a film that is a cross between Home Alone and Michael Haneke's Funny Games, and I mean that as a compliment. Uh, overall, I would give this film three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.